So I'm going to show you guys how you can uh, add dates and times um, in your Spark AR projects. Uh, the first one is built into Spark, which is pretty cool, nice and handy. Um, the other one is a script that I wrote. Uh, it's got a bunch of options and it's much more configurable. Uh, so if the built-in one doesn't work, then you can dig into this script um, approach and I'll go over that in the second half of the video. Um, but for now, uh, I'm just going to show you the default like built-in dynamic text capabilities. Um, of course, there's like city and temperature and altitude, but also um, various formats for dates and times. So hopefully, I mean, one of these will suit your needs. Um, but if it doesn't, you can get into the script. Oh yeah, that's that's something to note. If you click insert, it will just add um, to the current string. So you, you get some wacky stuff. So clear that out and um, insert and you'll be good. Uh, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. Of course you can, you can like change the style if you want, um, stuff like that. Uh, but so if you want more advanced um, options for your, your dates and times, um, you can click this guy, I think that should work. There we go. I'm gonna clear that out. So once you have your text input in the patch editor, you wanna drag this script over um, so, uh, taking a step back, where do you get the script from? Um, it'll be up on GitHub, um, Posit Labs, Spark dash local time. Um, all you have to do is click this download zip button and you'll have it. Uh, so as an aside, I don't make any money from these videos. So if you want to click on that sponsorship button and give me a dollar or five or 10, um, or even 6,000 if you're feeling generous. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. And um, as a bonus, uh, GitHub is matching contributions. So whatever you give is essentially doubled. Um, that'll help me out a lot. Uh, so this guy, it's got a bunch of outputs. Um, most of them are for uh, types. Um, I'll go over that later. It's it's more for like configuring. This video keeps lagging. For some reason Spark does that now. Um, anyway, uh, going back to this panel, um, you can ignore that. So all of these two script inputs um, are what you want to click on. Um, so like by default, if you just put the date into the text it, it gives you this which um, you can get that from the built-in thing but if you want if you just want like uh, a weekday and then like hour minute second you just click those and you can see them populate so it's pretty flexible um, as far as that goes you can even choose like if you want like 12 hour format or 24 hour format um, so checking this on would mean keep it at 12 hour and then checking it off would be 24. Of course it's it's 10 a.m. so that's the same in both formats so you can't see it right now but that is what it does. Um, so let's say um, you, you're looking into optimization stuff that's what a refresh interval is for. Um, it determines like how often the ticker updates so this is a weird um, use case. I think I have to restart. So this would be in milliseconds. So now this is only updating every three seconds. Um, probably you would you would have like a minute clock. So like uh, sixty thousand would be once per minute. Um, so if, if you don't have the seconds on there, then you don't need to keep refreshing the date. So that's what that's for. Um, I mean, we can just throw all these in here. 
Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. I changed the uh, refresh interval, so it wasn't updating. So now you can see um, it's got the date, it's got the name of the day, current time. Um, and these values are all configurable. So if you, if you're like, I don't like Friday, um, I'd, I'd rather have it be FRI. That's an option. So you just drag this short type and plug it in there. And then you get the shorter version of the day of the week name. Um, what else? So all of these um, configurable inputs are listed out in the script. So if you double click on the script, it'll open um, your text editor. So you can see just at the top of the file, it'll show you what each um, entry expects. So like some are numeric or two digit, um, there's options long, narrow, short, and you can see exactly how that will behave. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you're interested in the code stuff, you can see how all that works. It's nothing too crazy. Um, there's a locale mod module that's built into Spark, and that gives us the, the like region and, and stuff like that. Um, and then it, it just uses a, a built-in like JavaScript API um, to localize the dates. Um, and what that means is that it will automatically translate into the user's language and like whatever format their locale uses for dates. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe on YouTube um, and I'll see you on the next one.